Okay, what we need to design now is our actual dragster block. Now I know I've kind of gone backwards in doing this. Normally people design their block first, then they come back and they'll design uh, their components. I wanted to do it in reverse because I felt like, and from my experiences, knowing what your components are ahead of time will dramatically affect the quality of your design and save you when it comes to assembling your dragster physically after you have made your dragster. So let's get started. Let's go ahead and create ourselves a new file. We use our uh, dragster template file that we've created, which automatically has our unit set to inch pound second. It has all the things we want as far as decimal places and everything. Again, with this, we orientate ourselves to the right plane. Now at this moment, what we're going to design is a sketch of the actual dragster block of which we are going to save that sketch and use it later as a template to design from. Not an actual SOLIDWORKS template, but a sketch template to create from. So we're going to get started using the construction lines. Now I'm going to say as sketch and for construction. So I'm just going to quickly rough out the shape of a Pitsco dragster block. I'll come up and give it that classic wedge that many of you have already seen or know about. So let's dimension this shape right now. We're going to say that this is 305 millimeters. And by the way, 305 millimeters is exactly one foot. Now the back of the dragster is 70 millimeters tall, so we'll put that in. And the front of the dragster uh, block is actually 20 millimeters in size. Now what I'm going to do now is stop for a moment and I'm going to come back and tell you what the center line is on the CO2 dragster hole. Now we're going to go ahead and draw the center line of what our dragster hole is going to be at the correct elevation. So we'll come over here and select our line command. Again, we're going to create a sketch line as uh, we need for our actual design. Be real careful not to snap on this part right here, which is the midpoint of the line, but to come above it and, and out to about right here and snap there. Now what I'm going to do is do my smart dimension, and I'm going to put on this basically uh, 55 inch, actually make that 53 millimeters is the length of my hole. Real critical is this measurement here, which is the center of the hole to the bottom of the block, which is 34 millimeters. Okay, now that I have that put together, let's go ahead and do an F to fit that. This is our dragster template that we can use for designing our CO2 car. It is a parameters by which we're going to design our car, which will be actually sketched inside here. Now, on the next part of this, I'm going to open up the competition rules guide from TSA, and we'll look at the minimum and maximum specifications that we can use for our CO2 block. I've gone ahead and opened up the TSA High School Competitive Events Guide. We call it the CRG. I'm going to come down here and scroll down until I find actually the page I need to go to for dragster. So I'll click on this, and as you can see, it brings up all these different competitions. Let me go ahead and zoom up a little bit so we can see this better. And right here on page 184 of the guide is the Dragster Design Project and Challenge and Competition. So here it is. It's coming up. And let's just kind of scroll down and look at some of the things here. Ah, uh, that's pretty good stuff. Well, we're going to go all the way down to the actual uh, specifications of the car itself, which are very, very important. Ah, uh, here we are. Now, a couple things critical to note about this. It says one piece, all wood construction. What's critical to understand is when it says wood, it doesn't necessarily mean fossil wood. So you could use a variety of materials as long as they are wood. Here's the crux of what I need is this right here for this year, 2017. The, the block's minimum size is 240. The maximum is 250. So I have to design and build a car within these specifications. Okay, the next thing I want to do is go back into SOLIDWORKS to my sketch. So before we go further with the sketch, let's save that sketch as a template. So actually it's just a part file we'll call a template. Okay, so we're going to save that and we're going to call this in our dragster tutorial here. We'll go to our folder where it says CO2 dragster and we're going to save this as CO2 block sketch 001. Now to honor my friend Harvey Dean at Pitsco, I'm going to go ahead and call this a Pitsco CO2 dragster block sketch. 
We buy our box from Pitsco. You can get them from other vendors, but Harvey Dean has been a great supporter of TSA and Technology Student Association, and he's a supporter of this event and the sponsor of this event. So I'm gonna honor my friend Harvey Dean at Pitsco. So I select that and now I've saved my file. Immediately I come up and I'll save it again as we're gonna call this dragster, we'll call this one Spear, S-P-E-R. My school's mo uh, mascot is the Florida Seminoles. So the Spear is very important to us. So I'll name this dragster the Spear. So I'll go ahead and save this file. All right, let's go back to the competition's rules guide and let's look at what we need to do. First thing I want to do is to create a sketch that's probably the minimum of what the car could be. Now it says 240 millimeters, so I'm going to go back to SolidWorks and I'm going to put a vertical sketch in here. I'll accept that dimension. I'm going to create a, oh, let's rename this sketch right here first. We're going to call this Pitsco Block. Because these are going to get pretty complicated, and it's good to know what sketch you're looking at at each time. Now, this, go ahead and rebuild this, and we'll save this, and I'm going to create another vertical sketch at this time. Uh, select the plane. I'll expand my feature tree, which shows up in my display here, to the right plane. And I'm going to go ahead out here, and I'm going to place a sketch somewhere on this line and go straight up vertically. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to dimension this sketch and I'll go from the top side so it won't be confusing. So I'm going to dimension this. Now the specification said 240 millimeters. So I'm going to go put 240 in just to see what that size is. 240 and then I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to say, okay, it brings it all the way out here. That's pretty good. You show the block is really short. But to be on the safe side and to counter what a judge might do or mis mistake he might make, I'm going to make this block 242 millimeters. Because I can always sand it down, modify it a little bit. But what I want to do is to make sure that I'm within the specifications, plus or minus 2 millimeters on the link, so a judge, perchance, would not make a mistake. So I'll go ahead and hit enter at this point. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to map out where our eye hooks are going to be and where, actually we'll map out where our wheel holes are going to be and we'll come back to this in a moment.